<laughs> oh my oh um all right all right laugh at your death and your soul will forever be at peace it can't be my brother another murder and another execution I want to feel again everyone's lives are taken so lightly here I feel I might go be going mad they all just let it happen as Taka's sad screams invaded our skulls we were each forced to realize once again but he, of course, he had to. <laughs> what a disappointment. This is the end of the game. Byakuya? What is this? You're completely insane, you know that? A game? One of our friends is dead. Do you realize that? Naturally. Of course I do, because this game is alive or death. Hey. I don't have anything to say to you. I don't have a response except that. However. I just don't understand why. Why did you go out of your way to disguise Mondo's crime? What? Why? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Because it made things more interesting. His voice was calm and motionless like the voice of death. It chilled me to the bone. <laughs> Last night, the murder took place. I was in the library as usual. Honestly. So you ignored the nighttime rule too. <laughs> that rule never mattered to me. I don't recall agreeing to it. There is nothing to be done. Well, I don't particularly care. Please continue. <laughs> the night grew late, so I decided to return to my room, which is why I stumbled upon him. <laughs> I spotted Mondo coming out of the girl's locker room. After he'd gone, I looked inside and saw the corpse. What? What? You mean you actually with this the birder? <laughs> he was such a fool. You didn't have the slightest idea that I'd seen them. So you're saying you knew the culprit was from the very beginning? That's right. Indeed. But have that been at the end of it, how boring would that have been? I mean, what a waste of time to have the answer revealed right at the beginning. <laughs> Which is why I decided to lend a little helping hand. I thought it'd be, it would liven things up. You did all that to liven things up? I see. So after hearing about Genocide Jack from Toko, you decided to use that. To re to create the fake murder scene. But... But damn, if we hadn't figured out who'd really done it, you would've been dead too, right? <laughs> well, obviously, I would've revealed the truth before it reached that point. <laughs> of course. Yakuya turned and looked me in the eye. I could feel his sharp eyes piercing into me. <laughs> thanks to a certain remarkable someone that never did. And I was able to perform an interesting experiment. <laughs> Once interesting. I decided to do... Once I do decide to become blackened, I now know who I ha I'll have to watch out for. What? Correct. So that was your reason. <laughs> Are you satisfied? Indeed. Yes, we're done listening to your story. Moving on. Hey. There's something I'd like to ask Monokuma. What's this? Oh, I'm next. You. You like to perform these elaborate executions each time, correct? My question is why? <laughs> you like them? But you know, this punishment of despair is not just for you. <laughs> all this punishment, all this despair is my gift to mankind itself. What? You're over-exaggerating. I am not over-exaggerating. These punishments are meant to transform all hope to despair. Damn. What do you mean? Huh? Mean? Mean? <laughs> mean? What the hell? Mean, 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 mean. Damn Good grief, I don't understand why you have to pick apart every little stupid thing. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. In the end, I'm going to stand alone as the victor. And then everything will be revealed to me. Ooh. Ah, oh, the noble son of a noble family. Truly, you understand me. Ooh. I think this is the start of a terrifying relationship. That's enough. Shut up, I would never stoop to a level of childish criminal like you. Let me say just this. After I have achieved complete victory, you're up next. I'm going to find you and kill you. Understood? In the name of my family. For which victory is a foregone conclusion. You're getting all riled up! Oh, so cool! It's like you're a main character of a video game or something. No trash mob for you. 
I swear, whatever it takes, I will kill you. <laughs> temper, temper. Looks like someone needs a nap. <laughs> Monokuma's laughter peeled across the courtroom, and the curtain closed on the case of Chihiro and Mondo. But I knew that wasn't the end. The killing game would still continue, because the mastermind wouldn't let it end. For those of us who were still alive, our worst fear and despair kept on multiplying. It was the kind of despair that felt like a blind puppy in hell had more of a future than us. All of our courage, our effort, our friendship, it felt like it amounted to nothing. It was the worst kind of despair. What? Well, anyway, like I was saying, what? this is a pretty good spot. Yeah, a really good spot. He has no fingers. How is he doing that? Anyway, isn't it amazing how that girl went and killed someone before things even had a chance to get boring? Once things really get moving, it'll be like a roller coaster. There won't be any stopping it. Fear and despair charge forward at a speed nothing can hope to match. But I must admit, I'm disappointed. I went to all the pain and effort of making you part of the group, and you couldn't play your part. You do remember you were supposed to make the first move, right? Huh? Well, no biggie. Nothing we can do about it now. So just do your best to make things more exciting from now on, okay? After all, that's what everyone wants to see. What? There's one thing I'd like to ask you. As long as you don't want to know my measurements, fire away. Who is it? The 16th high school student, I mean. <laughs> my, my. You really took me by surprise there. I know I said you could ask anything, but... Super denied, ultra denied, demonic denied! Because you see, that's my ace in the hole. And nobody be dumb enough to reveal that, right? No matter how close they were to their... friends. <laughs> Is it Kyoko? Who could it be? Well... We are now missing five people. Great. Great! I was thinking I could save people, but I guess... I guess I can't. I got an item! Two of a kind. What? Who is this? Sniff? Sniff, sniff? What? I know I shouldn't cry. Asahira? But I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here anytime soon? It's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to... Oh, come on, man. Donuts? I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. Wait, are we playing as Asahina now? Blaze donuts? Twisty donuts? Jelly donuts? Cream filled donut holes? Malasara? Malasaras? Oh, go! Do God of donuts! I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking the nighttime rule. But right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. Huh? Huh? What's that sound? Oh, this is a sound that the clairvoyant was hearing. Hmm. It sounds like it's coming from the bathhouse. But... I'm super scared, but... Is... Is someone there? <gasps> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Everyone met up in the dining hall as usual. And I expected it to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> Days kind of... Count... 
Today's count kind of sucks, huh? Toka Piyaku has still refused to show up. Um, I haven't seen Mrs. Miss Ayatahira anywhere. Hmm. He said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for now. Oh. It is rather unusual for her. To normally, she is so full of energy. Hmm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then. Oh, it's just the seven of us then. Looks that way. How about that? It's not like this is where the committee chairman needs to get things going without bang. Oh no, he's he's done. Impossible. Or that. Aga hasn't said a word since everything that happened yesterday. One look at his face showed that he hadn't slept a wink last night. Must be because of Mondo. The two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed Jihiro. Then having to watch Mondo get punished. Nothing he could do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. Well... So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found any way out, and we have no idea if help's ever gonna come. <laughs> uh, now I'm getting all depressed thinking about it. <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things. Do our best and get along and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world and accept this new life. That is the only hope we have now. What? Live here forever? Well... Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, our every need is seen too. Are you dissatisfied? <sighs> In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world you long for? Is that okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence. As society grows, so does its perversion. In which case, is our current situation not... Demon Angel? Pretty pudgy princess! Huh? Huh? Here we go! Iggy, the drill shop owner, the bunny-eared Amazon cat girl dog boy, Robo Justice the Galactic King! And, and... What I mean is, there's no 2D here! There is nothing to be done. The mastermind put such base desire to their advantage, bundling you to their wheel. You know? Okay, well, anyway, says Taco's like catatonic. Hmm. As the oldest one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. So, we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching for school. Searching. I'm right, right? Well, I mean, since this class trial is over and all. Perhaps. There should be new places for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, that's a ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue this time. Well, then. Then, once we're done eating, let's split up and begin looking around. Do you have any problems with that, Celeste? <laughs> mm, there may be well a discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life here. Um... Uh, no, uh, the point is to look for clues. And just as we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me, and so I appear. Uh... Genocide! What? for you uh, um but the how come it's genocide jill that toko yes god this place is just amazing finally a place i can just get my bird itself which is why i've decided to stop holding back and spread my wings no more hiding in a cave for me uh -huh. plus i have another battle to fight the whole killer with a split personality thing is so all overdone i just gotta destroy that stereotype you i'll fight me. all day and, and all day and night to murder those totally slanderous cliches. Uh, um. But you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> uh, if she weren't here, my base chances of survival would be at least 10%. Uh -huh. Come on, you're gonna back me up. Even the biggest stars need the little people to hold them up. <laughs> I love that face. Huh. All whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on an empty stomach. You're right, let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> I feel bad for the guys. So we were first to eat breakfast with the murderer, and after a much needed but very annoying meal, we were set out to work looking around the school. I'm gonna look at the bathhouse, because I'm afraid Azahina might have found a disembodied head.
That's not it. The bathhouse, right? Where's the bathhouse again? Oh, it's right here. Oh shit. Well, anyways. There's nothing out of the ordinary about them. What? Where could I see them be? I'm getting worried. Is she in the sauna? She is not in the sauna. Oh, we were going upstairs. So is that open now? Oh shit. Oops. Nope, it's not open. Shit, keep accidentally holding shift and tab and then that goes to steam overlay. Trying to run and open the map at the same time is not working out. Change on this floor. Hmm. The only difference is the gate blocking the stairs leading up to the third floor is God. I guess that's where they want us to head next. I wonder what kind of crazy stuff is up there. Uh, where? Oh. The third floor of Hope's Peak Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? Recording room or recreation? It's recreation. Whoa. So this is let's see a recreation room, a place for students to come and relax. I would have never imagined a school having a place like this. <laughs> well, no normal school would. It has Othello, Shoki, and even a dartboard and a pool table. And look at this. They even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! Ring, ring, ring. Hello there. Let me lead to expound. Uh, we've had fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines. Ba -bum, ba -bum. But nothing dirty. This is a school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimsuit, Max. So then... And will you be adding to our collection and you... As new issues would come out? Too bad! Sorry, no can do! Even if I wanted to, right now magazines are kinda... Kinda what? Watch out! Oops! Nothing, never mind, no, 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 no. Anyway, that's it for my expoundation. Bye-bye! What he just said? I know, right? It bothers me too. Most unfortunate. Life here would be much nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. Really? Why did he say that? So the reason he can't get new magazines is... I just got a really bad feeling about the outside world now. In the same vein of Zero Time Dilemma. It would seem... So the third floor opened up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. Ooh. I also found a huge machine of some kind of of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. Well, I guess I'm checking that out. Well, first the art room. Holy, holy crap! At first glance, this looks like any normal art room. But something about it seems off. Or multiple somethings. You mean the bear? Is this a statue of Monokuma? Who would ever want to make something like this? Still, the quality is surprising. 
and as a coin. Thank you. Thank you for that coin. What the fuck? This is a statue of Neo. I've never really heard of anyone using a Neo statue for life drawing classes or whatever. Isn't that Venus? It's a Venus statue. Yup, definitely very art roomish. There are paintings lining the walls. Is this really art? Just looks like a bunch of crappy graffiti to me. Ifumi? <laughs> well, well, look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches that artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course, they are. They've also collected all kinds of sculpting tools. So, Hifumi, do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I'd limit myself to 2D, but figurines are like borderline 2D, so it's okay. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of Chirondo, Pumpkinhead, and I especially admire anything that Saburo Roppongi makes. Chirondo's ability to express the movement of muscles is exquisite, as seen as his Mama Cat Car series. Pumpkinhead is like a little sculptor fairy, representing the century's greatest quality. Saburo Rapungi, meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Masume... What? Mecha Masume series, which led to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. But one of your Elite is missing. You know nothing! Well, the Elite Three just sounds stupid now, doesn't it? Yes, indeed. Besides, that empty seat rightly belongs to me. <laughs> it begins. My, today begins my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. Uh, I see. Good luck with that. What the fuck? Hold the fucking phone on the floor! This is the repository room that attached to the art room. It used to store different artsy things. There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture. But as I stretched out my hand to pick it up, almost as if on its own, my hand froze. Huh? What I saw in the picture was... Jihiro, Leon, and Mondo. And they were all smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head, one after the other. Why is it only these three people? What are they doing together? How come they're all smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera they used? How'd they get it developed? And then the picture, the window in the classroom. There's no metal plate covering it. What the fuck? Which must mean, wherever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak? But there was no time to find an answer. All the questions flo floating around my head were quickly drowned out by... Yep, Monokuma. That's mine, give it back! Monokuma appeared out of nowhere and snatched the photo up and any chance I had at answers evaporated. Ha! You peek, didn't you? Well, they all had some pretty dazzling smiles, huh? Isn't that wonderful? They were definitely living their school life. It's like they ripped the page right out of the book of youth! What's going on with that picture? Do you know? <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing! Why can't you give me a straight answer? Never mind, I don't even know what I bothered to ask. What the hell? What is happening? There are wooden mallets hanging on the wall. If I had to guess, I'd say they use them for making sculptures. Is that it? No, that's not it. Why would I go here? A dolly. They must use this to move all the statues around. Why would I? Alright, I don't know why that's something to note on. And of course there's a monitor in here too. The mastermind is thorough, if nothing else. Guess that's it. Why was... I don't know. I'm not gonna get answers to my questions, I know. Wait, 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 go back? I thought... I don't take a close look at this. 
So there's a green girl, an alien, a Teletubby looking guy, a fish, flowers, trees, a guy that looks like Mondo, a square man, and that's it, right? And a weird blue thing. And Earth. What is... I mean, it's gotta symbolize something, right? I don't know. I don't know yet. Those closed off. What is a physics room? Door like this. Like a capsule. Whoa! What? This is a physics lab. It's less like a classroom and more like some kind of research institute. Taka? Hey Taka, don't you think this place is some kind of research institute? Still no reaction. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Watch out! What? <laughs> what, you wanna do some quantum leaping? Huh? Phew. That's a time machine. Pretty awesome, right? It was designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. The ultimate physicist. Although they didn't, don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. A uh, time machine? Seriously? So I can go back in time? Okay then, let me get in there. If I can go back to the past, then I can... This time I'll stop Mondo for sure! <laughs> oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you, like, leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. <gasps> one minute! What, what? You sound disappointed. Hmm. Uh, but actually, I was lying about the whole thing anyway. There's no such thing as a time machine. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit, Monokuma. What? Hey. Honestly, um... it's just an air purifier. What? In other words... It can produce clean air no matter where you're at. With that thing, you could even live on Mars. What? Wait, what? But what with the discombobulating gravity and deadly low left temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. You guys? Anyway, this machine is the reason you guys all have this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it and it's your butt. This huge thing is just an air purifier? And more than that. You go out of your way to say something you know will hurt someone who's already suffering. God damn you. I got a coin. They must use these for physics experiments and stuff. They're materials, pulleys, steel plates, magnets, and all kinds of stuff I don't even recognize. Just getting coins everywhere. Wait, what? Oh, there's a camera. This machine obviously has some kind of purpose, but I don't know anything about physics to begin with, so I wouldn't have a clue to start with this. Alright, Taka, we'll see you later. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, this is... a digital camera. It's got some kind of weird anime-style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it looks like it still turns on just fine. Yup, it still works. I'll show the others later. What? How? I... Huh. Alright then. What? This is the equipment room. It's super disorganized and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. Uh -huh. Ah, this place is so relaxing! So calming! The smell of formaldehyde is almost unbearable. It's so tempting! Uh -huh. I just want to dunk myself right into it! Of course, Genocide Jack likes it. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff and it was all strange, but I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I'm just getting more confused. 
Maybe we should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. Does anyone feel like we're just rats in a cage? Oh, Asahina. I'm glad you're safe. And not dead. By a disembodied ghost head. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Ah. Hina? I tried to talk to her, but... My voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed into the dining hall. Hina. Huh? I thought she was secret accepted. Everyone rushed past me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better already? <laughs> yeah, I ate a few donuts and that really helped a lot. You don't love those donuts. Hmm. What? Wasn't it your stomach that was hurting? Well... Well, my stomach ache kind of made me hungry, so you know. <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Hmm. Hey. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Hmm. This Asahina is pretty much the same, it looks like. Just a second. And you of all people don't have any room to talk. What? Well, anyway, I was worried about you. Sorry. Besides that, you... Huh? <laughs> These knockers are huge! What the heck? Did you convince them to double up on milk protection? Bastard! <laughs> Stay away from her fiend. Uh, um... Anyway... First things first. We should talk about what we found, right, Taka? Hmm. Right. So, about that head. Um, um I wasn't meant... Uh, wasn't able to help much about the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be? It didn't happen to be a daughter related discovery, did it? Hmm. What does that even mean? That's right. Never mind about the nurse's office. Remember, there's one on the first floor, right? Well, I do remember. I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find any protein in there? Or even vitamin supplements would be fine. Hmm. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. That's disappointing. Aww. It is disappointing. Like the end of the world is already here. I'm not sure it's that disappointing. You're not gonna say anything about the head? Really? Was she mm -hmm. brainwashed? It was a kind of art room on the third floor that had all kinds of gear. <laughs> yeah. Now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite, favorite anime characters. Reaction! Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. Hmm, a digital camera. That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well then, let's see it. What the heck? This thing's like a kid's toy. It looks like it stored like five pictures, baby. It doesn't have a timer or anything. Well, on top of that, its appearance seems questionable. This is some kind of anime character? Strange. You know nothing! Rude, she's that strange. She's Princess Pickles from the Demon Angel Prince, Pretty Pitch. Oh, fuck me! Demon Angel Pretty Pudgy Princess! Oh, you recognize this, Hifumi? <laughs> of course I recognize it. It's a super rare prize that was given away at a big contest at a big anime convention. You have any idea how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Yeah. Wait, that's my camera! What? Damnation! Where did you find it? It's in the, in the physics lab. <laughs> it's my most prized possession. I brought it here with me, but I lost it the first day along with my phone. Let's see. Why would it have reappeared in the physics lab? However... Ah, uh, but look at it! What? Got all messed up! Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection or you buy a second-hand shirt. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's that's it? It's not mint condition. I don't need it anymore. Wait, weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> and may I have it? I might be able to find some sort of use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are gonna need it to take any pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. All right. Hmm. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows in the halls and the rooms are blocked off. <sighs> I wish they'd give us a break already, for serious. Give me back my bright blue skies. 
Just forget about it. Impossible. You big as hell, uh, like I dropped a dick or something. Huh. Just to be sure, I went to one end to the other, testing each mental play. None of them budged. So in the end, it would seem escape via the third floor is as impossible as we feared. See. <laughs> there is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room at the third floor. I have no idea that our student life here will be even more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> will someone join me in a game of Othello sometime? I don't know how to play. Mm, yes, yes. A long road to Beta Hunts begins with a single step. This road may begin with only link wrinkly old men, but it will end with strapping young, adorable boys. <sighs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I. Yup, I I'm lost with her now. Correct. At first, I'm like, I like this person. She's crazy weird, but no, she's just she's super, just she's just that actually. She's crazy weird. <laughs> so it's hard to understand her sometimes. There was a rather remarkable physics lab in the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a big machine bigger than anything I've ever seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? Uh, there's... What's something like that doing here? Mm. Is the device really that big? Hmm. I really don't get it. Uh, uh. Hmm. Oh, I just remember I saw Byaku a, a little while ago. <laughs> what? What? You where, where was he? What? what? You're kind of scaring me. <laughs> where was he? Um, he was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books he busted got for the library. No, 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 no! So that's where he's hiding. I won't let him get away from me! <laughs> huh? You just ran off. Is she okay? <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. Aka. Hmm. Alright. It's no use. Okay, I've heard what everyone else has to say. So now it's my turn. Hey, um, can I tell you guys something? I found something that kind of bothered me. What? What is it? I found this weird picture in the repository. Apparently Monokuma took it. Huh? A weird picture? Even like dirty? No, not that kind of weird. It was... A picture of Leon, Mondo, and Jihiro all together. Why? Those three. And the three of them were laughing. Oh. Um... It showed the three of them together laughing? When could that have been taken? And there's more. In the picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well then... Then the picture wasn't taken here? Let's see... But I don't recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to this school. Well... You're probably just imagining it. Otakuma cast a spell on you. No, I saw it. I t I'm telling you. Hmm... But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got here... How about that? I bet they're still alive! They left the school and then took that pi- Fuck me. Is that right? That's impossible. After all... We saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Monokomo killed Junko, and then there's... Sayaka. That was an illusion. It was... It was real, I'm sure of it. They all died, there's no way any of them are still alive. So we have to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokomo's most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. Forged? Is that all there is to it? <sighs> Stay focused, bad. Don't let Motokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right, but more importantly... <laughs> on another topic, there's something I, that has been bothering me. I would like to discuss that. <laughs> there's also something that has been bothering me, which I would like to discuss. <laughs> What's bothering you, Miss Celeste? Actually... It's about Tina. Huh? Me? <laughs> You said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believe that was a lie. Oh 
what really happened? Huh? <sighs> it varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It is called a tail. Something you can't hide no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whenever he lies, that tip of her nose just gets a little bit longer. Huh? What? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? Oh. But your reaction just now confirmed that you were lying. Oh. That's not fair. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you're going to lie, at least try to lie convincingly. Hina. Hina, be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that? That's it. I'm Are you sure feeling it. guilty about something? Just a second. No, that's not it at all. But it's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? Sorry. To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> The truth. Well, I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. Hmm? A ghost? You mean that ghost? Hey. Is there more than just one ghost? But I mean, ghosts are. What the heck? See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but. Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I will believe whatever you say, no matter what. So, can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So, um... So it happened last night. I was in bed, so I couldn't get to sleep. I was just kept thinking about everything that's happened up until now. I ended up getting more upset. So try to try and cheer myself up, I thought I'd go get some donuts. Huh? Donuts get... Donuts is good. Honestly. And you ignored that rule regarding nighttime. Sorry. I, I know, I'm sorry. Really feel bad about it. Hina. Anyways, please continue. But... Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange sound. Well... It was coming from the, the direction of the bathhouse. So I headed that way. The locker was halfway open, so I took a look inside. I saw a human shape surrounded by a pale green light. There's no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro. Say what? Yeah! Oh, oh no! A no. ghost? Honestly. Is he shaggy? It is simply not possible. You must be mistaken. Just as in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born for a weakened mental state. Well then. Then all we have to do is go for see her for ourselves, right? Let's go to the bathroom and see what Tina saw. <sighs> it is a waste of time. Maybe, but there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, that'll be the end of it. What? You're gonna go and see a good ghost? Is that really a good idea? I could put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please. I don't want to be alone. Take me with you. Hey. What are you go what are you gonna do, Celeste? There is nothing to be I done. suppose I have no choice. Hmm. Oh, what about you, Mr. Ishimaru? Are you going to wait here? Oh. I guess oh, that's a yes. I don't wanna see this ghost. Uh so, um... It was right here! I saw it right here in the dressing room! Uh, um You're getting goosebumps. Come on, Charla. Charla. Cthulhu of Dang! Shut up! Shut up! What if he actually shows up? Hina. Hina! Where was it you saw Chihiro's ghost? Well... Well, I heard a sound, and when I opened the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. I don't wanna... I don't wanna fucking... God damn it, I don't wanna do this. Uh, is this the locker? There's something in here. Oh, it's a laptop. Huh? Inside the laptop- in the locker is... A laptop? What's something like that doing in there? Hey. I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw it in the library before. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old. It's covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. 
How did the laptop get from the library to here? It would seem... And I guess it's on sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. Oh, but I thought it was broken. Hmm. I would bet that Chihiro fixed it. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps... More importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light, yes? Surely you did not mistake the light of the monitor for a ghost? <laughs> I'm surprised you were able to dress yourself in morning. Ah! <laughs> oh man! If I had that love, love, if I had the love's clueless girl's attribute, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. <laughs> well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker. Okay? Hey, come on. Okay, I mean. Anyone make a make that mistake like that? Hmm. As a matter of fact, one time I thought I spotted a gray alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. What are you saying? Don't compare what happened to me to one of your just stupid delusions. Don't be mean. Don't be mean. I'm just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed to forever now? But well, listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing here? In other words, maybe someone hid it here. But... That's the case. We found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. What do you mean? Hey, haven't you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. There's a difference? Oh, what? There's no surveillance camera? Yes, it's me. I know it's you. Precisely. There's no camera in here, which means this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Hmm. So you're saying hmm. someone put the laptop here so the mastermind wouldn't know about it? It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow of a computer screen. It was the figure of Chihiro shining pale green. Hey. I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. What do you mean, Chisachi Hero? It's just like Kyoko said, the display is on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then... So first of all, we have to wake it up. Right. Started hitting random buttons on the keyboard. The display instantly began to glow pale green. There's a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. There, the icon on the far left. What's that? It says Alter Ego? Hmm. Alter Ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Would you let me see it, Makoto? Without... Yoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over the alter ego icon, and when she double-clicked... The screen suddenly went dark, and then a voice spoke to us. You really came! Master, you're here. The hero's face appeared, taking up the entire display. Oh no! It's a ghost! Buddha, sweet baby Jesus, save me! Calm down. It's not a ghost! What? What? Uh... Um... Then what is it? Anyway... I'm sure if we talk to it, we'll find out. Yoko began to type, hands blurring across the keyboard. What are you? And then... Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Shihiro Fujisaki. <laughs> I always get so embarrassed tr introducing myself. That voice, the tone and everything. Mm. It's Chihiro. I knew it. Alter Ego. I heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI program? That's right. It's how Chihiro earned his title of ultimate programmer. The AI lives in a computer and by repeating different tasks, it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently, Chihiro used a support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually, he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligent design. Support vector machine? Reinforcement learning? It's true. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. Um, if you want to know more, that's it. just Google I'm it, sure. okay? In other words... Uh, Wait, was that pointed to me? <laughs> Cause that's what you that's what I usually do. Anyways. I'll do that later though. But if this AI continues to grow, it'll become more than just a piece of software to help people. 
Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. Hmm. And that is why it is called Alter Ego? A fine choice then, I must say. They can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how humans work. <laughs> if you were to raise your own AI that way, it would make perfect sense to refer to it as your alter ego. I see. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what Chihiro created. That's alter ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay with anyway, this? Anyway, he fixed a broken laptop and put his own program on there. That is what this means, yes? Then he brought the machine to the stressing room where the mastermind would not be able to see it. <laughs> but you know, all this about master and whatnot, yes, yes. I believe I'm on fire. Huh? I thought you were only at the 2D. <laughs> this is the most excellent 2D possible. Huh? But he's a guy, and he also a computer program. I feel as if... Oh, that no aspect is no problem. I mean... That aspect. Anyway... Anyway, let's talk to him a little bit more. Yoko typed away rhythmically. How much do you know about what's going on? Master. Master only gave me a general idea. Well... But I do know that things have become very grave. He found himself caught up at this hole without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? That's right. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well, you wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored in this laptop. Um. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking me a little longer than I thought. Master. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that the files are protected so tightly it means they must contain some important secret. For example, the secret of the school. While I was busy struggling to make a sound, Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer until everything's unlocked? That's right. Uh, it's gonna be a while. Leave it to me. But I'm definitely gonna do it, so you can just leave it to me. I see. So that... So because of how long it would take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart! But it also means that the work remains uninterrupted even after he's dead. Once, a Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, but be careful not to let the mastermind notice you. That's right. Don't worry, I have a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam, so if anyone's suspicious, so jump. <laughs> I'll just scream for help really loud. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to say. Yes, indeed. That is fine during the day, but nighttime is a concern. Oh, why? Are you okay with this? Have you forgotten? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, we can scream as loud as he wants. But we won't hear a thing. Okay, then how about once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room? However... There's a good chance the mastermind would notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. Then what can we do? So then... Once nighttime comes, I'll leave the door to my room open. There's no way I can miss Alter Ego yelling. But... But if you leave your door open all night, then... It's true. There's a chance I might become a victim myself. I know. However... But I'm not as, as weak as you might think. I wouldn't go down without a fight. I assure you. There was an undeniable strength in their voice when she said that. She was totally confident she'd be good, okay. That confidence was somewhat similar to Byakuya's tone, but at the same time different. Yet, it had an entirely different feel, for sure. Like someone who'd been dropped onto a battlefield versus someone who'd been born on a battlefield. I felt like that was the fundamental difference. I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emanating from the laptop. So, um... Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Um... I haven't seen Master for a while. When you got here, I thought it was him, but... His Master... For a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do, but she recovered just as fast and began quickly typing. Answer was clear, concise, and direct. The hero is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive this situation were very low. So I was prepared for this moment. 
<laughs> Somehow, I like... kind of feel bad for her. Um... I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> With this simple computer program, it doesn't have any feelings. What? Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway, that's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. Then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Uh, yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye-bye. The AI seemed totally different from when we first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it just because he was following his programming or could he actually have been worried about us? Could it be? Uh, what's wrong, Hero? You know? Uh, no, I think I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. That we could call for help for the outside. Hmm. But this is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well? Well, if we take it out of here and find somewhere that does have online access. <laughs> that's way too dangerous. The mastermind would find that out in no time. Uh, um... Oh, yeah, true. Indeed. This is no time for needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident that we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, we can... All we can do now is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? Uh, so, should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll be back. I promise. Oh. Come on, Efumi, let's go. I suppose. Okay. And we all left the dressing room. So it wasn't a ghost. It was just a superior AI program. That is sentient. That's kind of scary, actually. As soon as we were out in the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. <laughs> I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? And as if he'd been waiting for his cue... Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hina has gained enough experience to level up! What's the matter? So what was this awesome something? Monokuma? What the heck? You guys all seem remarkably good spirits. Something good happened. No, nothing in particular. Yeah. Oh, keeping secrets no fair. I demand an exclusive interview. <laughs> Denied, denied, super denied! What the heck? Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Say what? Do it? You mean like, do it, do it? Huh? Wait, what? What do you mean do it, do it? This. Ew, gross, you said do it. Just the worst. What? You said it first! <laughs> we were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We have not a chance to relax in some time. Huh? Huh? But well, unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided to wrap paper scissors to decide which group would go first. Nina won the match for us, so that is why we are all so pleased. Huh? Y yeah, that's right. Speaking of which... <laughs> okay, boys, why don't you go head back into the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, come on. Oh, jeez, what are you doing? What are you, go what are you gonna do, right? We lost fair and square. <laughs> well, ladies, shall we go? Les didn't hesitate coming up with the ruse, and her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh, um... Um... Damnation! That's a damn it. We totally lost another the day without getting my first bath here. Uh, um... What? How many days has it been? You haven't taken a bath? <laughs> That's gross. Yeah, but tomorrow for sure. You'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall now? Hey! Hold on! Hey! Something hey. strange here. Very strange. Strange? What do you mean? <gasps> What's strange? Is this the perfect chance for you to take a peek? Huh? <laughs> That's... Without a doubt. You're at... <laughs> Uh... <laughs> oh boy. You're absolutely right. <sighs> I thought you were all about 2D. <laughs> all of you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. 
An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak into the bathhouse like Monokuma said, or should I just quietly go into the dining hall? No, I can't do that. I can't treat the girls like that. Let's just head back to the dining... <laughs> what? What?